What is up guys? Chipping back we got another rest video. In this video I'm gonna be going over some of the designs for your Arsenal TCs. Uh, as you can see in front of us we got five designs here. Uh, I know for a fact there's more than this due to this some of the five that I've used in the past. And they're pretty much all the same except for this first one here. Um, so without further ado, uh, we'll get into this here. So this is a pretty much standard Arsenal TC that a lot of people use. Um, also with these squares here, this would obviously be connected to your main piece or your main uh, base here. So, for example, it would be connected to like this way here. All right. So keep that in mind uh, when I show you guys this. So with this one, as you can see, uh, there's no way to disconnect it. So once you have it connected to your main base or going to your main base, uh, you won't be able to disconnect this, and you will have to break the TC itself. So this is the standard. I see a lot of people do this, and that's all right. There's nothing wrong with that. Personally, uh, I like to have the disconnectable type, so if they break the main TC, you can actually replace it. And the reason for that is it makes it a lot easier, so you don't have to actually break your external TC itself. Alright, so moving on from this standard design, we'll get into uh, some of the disconnectable types here. Alright, so here's the design right here. Like I said, all these squares that are here will be connected to the base. And if you do this in a multi-TC sense, if not, it should be built out towards the actual base, right? So, however you want to have it, that's up to you. But with this one, we have a ramp right here, as you can see. And we got a foundation back here. This foundation is optional. It doesn't have to be there. Most people just do it like that. It doesn't really make a huge difference. As you can see, we got a door here. And then you can have a garage door here if you really wanted to. Uh, that's not what I would do. And then you got your TC in here. And then you have this twig here, right? So, for this, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that to high quality so you can see what I'm talking about. As you can see, it's got the upkeep of the high quality itself because that's the, the high quality foundation that is right here. However, if I actually break this twig here, as you can see, it's not connected anymore. So, by breaking this twig, you can disconnect your external TC, allowing you to replace the main TC if your main TC gets broken. Or if you're trying to move your uh, main TC upstairs. And then the way you just place it back, you just come back inside. And then you can just put the best like this. Now if you want to, you guys can obviously upgrade this in wood. Oops. Uh, wood, not stone. So you can upgrade this in wood, but I would not recommend upgrading this to stone because that's going to be kind of hard uh, to break that, right? So the highest I would upgrade any of these right here would be either twig or wood. That is it. So there's a nice little standard design for an external TC. And don't worry guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build all these uh, at the showroom mall. So here we have a little bit more advanced one using some ramps here. Like I said, this is, would be connected to your main base or uh, going to your main base. As you can see, uh, this, you're going to need to have a uh, foundation here or something to jump into here. And you jump into here, you can get your main TC. And uh, for this one, I'll upgrade this right here so you guys can see it. So as you can see, we got the high quality here. But, if we break this ramp right here, let me get out of here, oops, if we get out and I break this, as you can see, the twig and the actual high quality is not in here anymore. And the way we're going to place that back, it is kind of tricky, but you guys can definitely do it, is if you come inside this window here, and then you look down, you can place the foundation back here, or the, the ramp, sorry. And as you can see, you got the twig upkeep because that's what the ramp is. And then you got the high qual here because that's what this foundation is here. So nice, another little simple design here. Moving on from this one, we have something a little bit more um, fancy, I guess you could say. So this one right here, it allows you to be able to place walls through it. And I can show you guys that right now. So if you're trying to build a compound, this is the easy way to do it. You can place these right through here, just like this. Just like that. So this allows you to place walls through it. Um, it is kind of useful, if you ask me. I use this a lot in my bases, as you can clearly see over here. Or, you can obviously use it like this, and then you can actually build your gatehouse as well. So, as you can see with this one here, uh, we have a foundation here, and then we got some walls on top of it, so they can't sell outside the foundation. This also gives stability to uh, these two frames right here. And then this third one, uh, I'll show you how that one gets connected in a moment. So if you come inside this one here, we have the TC right here. Uh, you have the option to put a, a locker right here and two beds, or bags, sorry. 
And you can put some bosses in here as well. That's why these this half floor is here. And then to disconnect this one, all you have to do is break this right here. And as you can see, this frame gets broken. And then now this TC is disconnected from the rest of this. And to be able to place this back, all you have to do is come inside here, place this twig back, and then we're going to come outside, and we can place this back. So there's another nice little design here. And I just saw this design the other day. It is by a guy named Mr. I believe. I believe it's, or I'm sorry, Mini Salary. I think that's how you say the name. I'm not exactly sure on how to say that. But if I pronounce it wrong, I'm sorry. So it's this right here, basically this one over here. I just simplified down a little bit. Alright. So as, you, as I said, this would obviously be kind of the tier main TC or going to it. We got a door here. And obviously, you know, you don't have to have this like this. You can obviously just have this part here. And then if you want to, we can get rid of this. And then we can add a single door here. So... You can have it even simpler than when I had it. So just come through here. You got a window here. And as you can see, that's where your TC is. It's on the triangle here. And then we got this ramp is below it. So like I said, it's basically this same design, just way more simplified and a lot more compact. So as you can see, if I come inside here and I break this, now it's disconnected. Same thing as uh, all the one I just showed you. And the way you're going to place this one back, you're going to have to jump through this window. I'm missing a fly because I kind of suck at that. But, if you come over here and you look right here, if you do it correctly, you should be able to replace the ramp just like that. Alright. So there's another design. And the last design here that I kind of forgot about until now, but I see a lot of people do this, and I'm going to show you one of the downsides of this. Alright. So, most people just build this. And then obviously your TC would be in there. You'd have a, a foundation here. You'd have a foundation, and then this would get steel up like this. Not like that. There we go. So it'd be just like this. Obviously your TC would be in here somewhere. Just for time to pick up put it there. So I see a lot of people using this design. Personally, I don't use it because, as you can see right here, this is your foundation, and anybody can soft side this. There is a way around it though. Most people will probably think, oh, you know, you can just build it like this, on both sides. And, I mean, yeah, you can do that, but now your the next problem is, is you can't open it, right? So, that's why I don't think this design is good in my opinion. I'm sure there's other ways to do it. But, like I said previously, they can soft side this foundation out, and then they got your TC. So, personally, I don't really use this design. I see a lot of people that do use it. That is up to them. But, personally, I would recommend something more like this to get out to disconnect it. So, uh, I'm going to show you guys on how to build these. Uh, this one's pretty standard. I'm not going to show you guys on how to build this one. But I'll show you from this one to the, uh, the end one here. So, for this one here, I'm just going to build it literally right in front of it. Just so uh, you guys know. And also, I'm going to break these TCs real quick. Just so it allows me to place all the TCs where they need to go. Oops. Here we go. And another reason that people are going to want to build uh, external TCs is a lot of p people, so they can't build over. As you can see, I got build perv all the way out here. So nobody can just build anything right here and get in. Well, I mean, I can now because I got, uh, it's my plot, but on an actual server, nobody will be able to build really close just for the simple fact that, you know, you got your externals out here and stuff like that, right? So the sent your build perv makes it so people can't grief you and stuff like that. But... Uh, without further ado, I'll show you guys on how to build the first design here. So, this is the one we're going to be building first. So, this would obviously be going back to your base or connected to your multi-TC. But, for time's sake, I'm not going to build a whole entire base to do this, right? So, you're going to place a square here. And you're going to place a quick one here. And then, we're going to place another one just like this. Alright, so this foundation is going to be raised. We can get rid of this one right here. We can come over here, we can add a foundation here, followed by a door here, and a wall, and then we need to add a half height above that. Uh, this half height is optional, you guys don't have to have the half height, we can just do it like this, but I would recommend you have the half height, 
just for the simple fact that we're gonna have a door here anyway. So there's gonna be a door here anyways, so I might as well just go ahead and do that. Uh, this can be built out of sheet metal, stone, or high quality, it really doesn't matter that much. Uh, personally, I would have it at least in sheet metal. So once we have this in here, we're gonna come to this corner here, and we're gonna put the TC in here, just like this. If you guys want, you can go ahead and put some boxes on the ground. Uh, just personally, I'm not gonna do that. So once we have that, we're gonna come out here. We're gonna put the roof in and upgrade that. Uh, obviously, the top will be sealed off here. And then last but not least, all you have to do is place the twig in. Just like that. And then, you know, put a garage door here or a double door. And that design right there is, is pretty much done. Alright. Next up, we're going to be doing this one here. So, like I said, uh, probably too close to the base here. So, let me just get rid of this and then I will build it. Alright, for this one, you're going to have a foundation here, and we're going to have a temporary foundation here, put a foundation here, and we're going to have one here, and then we're going to need one right here as well. We can outline this part just like this. We need to have a wall here, a door here, and then a window here. We're going to put a TC right here in the back, and we can put a window in front of that as well. We can go ahead and we can peel these off just like this. Alright. Oops, and this is supposed to be raised, sorry about that. Alright, so once we have this part in here, what you're gonna wanna do is come inside. You have to jump on top of this window here. And if you rotate the the ramp, you should be able to place it just like this. And make sure it is all the way down on the ground and not placed like this. If it's placed like this, this is incorrect. And if it's placed like this, then you're good to go. So once you have this, you're going to come back outside. And placing this one can be kind of tricky. As you can see, you can place it like this. If you, for some reason you can't place it here, all you have to do is come on top of this foundation here. And then just rotate it, and then place it, upgrade it, and then make sure you get rid of this. So that one is all good to go. That one's done. That's how you build this one. Now this one right here, there's a couple different ways you can do it. Uh, pretty much all exactly the same though. So let me just get rid of this here. Alright, so you're going to start this with a triangle. Obviously this would be like uh, kind of to your main base or whatever, however you want. There's obviously a different way to do that, I'm not going to go into that. So once you have your triangle, you're going to build half walls on top of that with a floor on top. And then we're going to build three temporary square zones, so one, two, and then three. Put the temporary triangle here. And we can place two on this side that are lower, and then three on this side that are raised. We can go ahead and get rid of all of these, just like this. We're going to place a half wall here, and a floor here. Now make sure you guys put a floor frame in here. This is how um, these two floor frames on this side connect. So uh, once you have the stability, this is connect right there. So make sure you guys have the floor frame in, right? It's very important. Once you have that floor frame in, you can put a foundation on top of that. And then we can go ahead and put some walls in just like you can see here. Just like this. And we're going to put two single doors here. This is for an airlock. Let's go ahead and add our TC right here. And I can't do it because I think this one's too close. So let me just go to this one. Alright, so put your TC in. Put your window in front of that. If you guys want, you guys can go ahead and add like a double door here or something like that. That's up to you guys. If you guys want, you can also add this half door in here for some boxes. And then we can go ahead and we're going to seal this roof off just like this. And the last thing you want to do is, for one, we got to place the foundation here so we guys can get inside. Or you can place a stone barricade, it's up to you. Once we come inside here, we need to place a twig half wall right here. And then... To connect it, all you have to do is place a floor frame in right here, and then that's all connected right there. And then, the last but not least, we have this design right here. Uh, I'll show you guys on how to build that one right there. What you're going to want to do is place a square here. And this would obviously be raised, so this would be going back to your TC. So this one would be um, temporary. 
We're gonna place a square here. And then we're gonna place a raised, oops, a raised foundation here. And then we're gonna place a temporary, or a low one right here. And then we're gonna place half walls right here in the bottom. And we can go ahead and place a triangle here. And we're gonna outline this right here with some walls. We can put a wall here and a door here. And we can put a window right here. We can seal the top of this off as well as this one as well. Now if you come in here, I'm gonna fly through because I hate doing that jump. You can place a TC. When you place a TC, don't place it, um, well, you can put it on either side. Just try not to have it right in the middle because it uh, makes it placing the ramp a little bit easier. So you gotta come to the side here. And then like I said previously, it is kind of tricky to do. If I can get you get the ramp. Come on. Oh, might have to shot on this side here. There we go. So you just have to uh, move around, try both sides, and you should be able to replace this in. So once you have this part in here, we're going to come to the outside here. And we're going to come over here. You might have to rotate it like I said previously. Once you have it rotated, place it. Once you have it placed, all you have to do is get rid of the twig just like that. And there you guys go. There's another design done. So, like I said guys, uh, I just wanted to show you guys this. Because I see a lot of people, when they do their external TCs, either they do this one here, or they do the one with, um, like, the raised foundation like this. So, so like, most people just do this. So, I figured I'll, I'll show you guys a couple different designs and, um, some disconnectables. So, you guys have some options here, but hopefully this did help some of you guys and uh, learning how to make disconnectable TCs and some of the benefits of it. But, without further ado guys, this has been Drippin'. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, please smash that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, turn the post notification bells on. And I'll see you guys in the next one.